Good morning, Sean. Uh, we can report that the standoff is over here. We're on Central Street in uh, Franklin, and the standoff happened over in the distance there where you see those lights. Anyone in the apartment, come outside now. Come outside now. This is for your safety. Please come out the front door. Anyone in the apartment at 32 West Bow Street, for your safety, please come outside. For your safety, please come out the front door. According to Franklin's police chief, this all unfolded at about quarter to 10 last night. And that's when they got the report that someone was barricaded inside that building there at 32 West Bow Street. Now, the police chief says he thinks there were four apartments in that building, but he's not sure how many people might have been inside. A shelter in place order was uh, put in place. And as you heard, negotiators worked with the uh, to try to get the suspect to surrender there. Also, a fire started inside that building. It's unclear at this point how that fire started. Now, the chief said because of the situation, they blocked off Central Street here in Franklin and also brought in numerous resources to try to bring this to a peaceful end. We're always concerned about such issues, and that's why we use negotiators, because they're trained and educated in methods of trying to de-escalate and get people to come out and do what they should do in order to give themselves up and, and then let everything resolve itself peacefully. Now you can see some of the firefighters remain here on the scene, but we can tell you that the police uh, SWAT team, the state police and some of the negotiators have been released. Some of the fire uh, engines have left as well. Now the police chief did tell us that uh, no uh, officers or firefighters were injured in this. As far as the person involved said, any further information will have to come from the attorney general's office. But once again, the standoff here in Franklin is over. Central Street back open as well. Reporting live in Franklin, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.